Strength Ministries, and we're going to give a word here. All right, I'm going to give... The Lord wants me to give everybody a word today. Praise be to God. He brought me all the way to the land to give you all a word from Jesus. <laughs> and here's the word. It comes out of John 14. Praise be to God. I read this at the coalition today. Here's the word. I read this at the coalition. You know, I'm always on the streets with everybody. I've been doing this for well over three years. God is good all the time. So I'm just going to read to you his word. His word is, is life, and it, it brings us health to our bones. Right? So here we go. John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. This is Jesus. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you will be also. And whither I go, you know, in the way you know. Thomas, this is his disciple, says unto him, Lord, we know not where to go, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And there is no man that comes unto the Father but by me. Yes. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it's, it would be sufficient for us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believe that not I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me. He does the works. Believe me that I am the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I shall do, also, and you will do. I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything, who hears me? Who hears me? If you ask anything, yes, anything in his name. Stand right over here, Michael. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Hold it up. Okay. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Keep it like this. Okay? Alright, so. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, and he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither knows him, but you know him. For he dwells in you, and he shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. Do you hear me? He will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. This is what he brought me here today. He is here for you. If God is for you, who can be against you? Okay? Yet a little while, and the world sees me no more, but you shall see me, because I live, you shall live also. Woo! You all feel that? Yes. Right no, I want the sun in the back. Right here. Right here. Okay? So, 
At that day you shall know that I am the Father and you in me. He that has my commandments and keepeth them, he is the one that loves me. And he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself in him. Oh, help me, Lord. Woo, I'm on fire. See? Let me just stop for one second and tell you what the Lord took me out of, okay? I was in the pits of hell, okay? I was jacked up, screwed up, messed up, you name it, okay? Look, I've been down and out. I'm not standing here. This is a new creature right here. This is what God can do. Here's a manifested spirit inside of somebody. He took me out of the pits of hell. I was depressed. I was taking four pills for depression a day. I was verbally abused all my life. I was diagnosed with stage two leukemia cancer. I had blood cancer. I was on my way on death's door knocking. I was drinking a fifth a day. I was drinking every single day. I didn't love myself. I didn't care about myself. Okay? But guess what? You know what I did? I had somebody come up to me. Here, stand over here now. Right here. Hey. Right here. I'm going to tell you all. I, somebody came up to me and they said, Wendy, you need Jesus. And I was like, what? How does this lady even know me? She didn't even know me. And guess what? I invited Jesus into my heart. You know what he did? Huh? Instantaneously. Never had a drink ever again. I was drinking a fifth a day. You hear me? I was taking five pills for depression a day. Guess what? Never took a pill ever again in my life. Wham! Out of here. I was verbally abused. Guess what? I don't even remember one single bad word ever spoken over, to, over me. You know why? Because the Lord erased it. He erased it. He forgave and he forgot. I was a thief. I was a liar. You name it. I have done it. I haven't murdered anybody, but I was not good. Okay? And then guess what? After I, after he did that, he, I felt love for the first time. I've never felt love all my life. Never ever felt love. When I felt the love of God, I said, Lord, what do I need to get more of that? Oh, it was, it's the best love that I've ever felt in my life. And he said, Wendy, you have to forgive everybody. I said, forgive my mom for verbally abusing me. Forgive my ex-husband for taking my kids away. I said, you've got to be kidding me. I said, but I'll do it. I said, I'll do it, Lord. I said, because I want that love because I ain't never felt that love ever. So guess what? So I sat down one day and I said, Lord, I put Michael below your feet. I put my mom below your feet. I put, I put everybody below the feet of you, Jesus, and I wash it with the blood of you, Jesus. And guess what? In that moment, I was thrown down on the ground. I was literally out of breath. I mean, just like has anybody been punched in your stomach and you've been out of breath? That's what it felt like. Okay? So basically, and then I felt him put his hand on my head. And I felt fire go from the tip of my head to the tip of my toes. Wham, bam, wham, bam. Ooh, I got so filled with the Holy Spirit, I was... Consumed. I've been consumed ever since. Ever since. So, I went for a walk the next day. And guess what? I heard the Lord ask me a question. Guess what the Lord said? He says, what can I do for you, Wendy? I said, why are you asking me? Don't you know what I've done? I've been terrible. I turned my back on you. Why are you asking me? Never saw him. I heard him clear as day. I said, okay, Lord, take leukemia cancer out of me. He took everything else, but he didn't take that out of me. So guess what? October 25th of 2012, I walked in the Orlando Cancer Hospital. They said, you don't have leukemia cancer anymore. Oh! Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Out. Out. I, he took everything out of me, and then guess what? I raised my hands, and I said, I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever you want me to do. He moved me to Daytona Beach. The day after, in 2012, I've been there for well over three years, preaching his word. I got this cross. Praise be to God, I carry this cross every day. And he is here to uh, set the captives free. Praise be to God, I pray with everybody that I can.
because I know his goodness. I know his love. Okay? And and if he can use a donkey, he can use me. Praise be to God. <laughs> me too. <laughs> he can, all what he needs is somebody who is willing to do, you know, to do his work. So whatever it is, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to finish reading this. Okay, because because he brought me all the way over here so I can finish this word and everybody's about to go inside, but but right here it says, He that has my commandments and keeps them, he is the one that loves me, and he that loves me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself in him. Judas said unto him, Lord. Is that that thou manifest thyself unto us, and not unto this world? Jesus said unto him, and he said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode in him. Okay, you you're feeding me, and now I'm going to feed you. I can walk you on you all eyes, so let me eat you on He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is with you forever, no matter what. And guess what? When God forgives, He forgives and forgets. It doesn't matter what you've done. The cross paid for everything. Everything was put on Jesus. Sickness was put on Jesus. There's no reason why anybody should be sick. Right? Huh? Huh? There's no reason. Because you have to... for me to help me forgive? Yes, here, come here. Help you to forgive? Yes, Father, I ask right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you bestow upon her, Lord, that peace that surpasses all understanding and let her know to forgive everybody because right there is the fullness of joy and love is when you forgive. He says that when you forgive, when you, if you forgive others, then he will forgive you. And let me tell you, you know, it's nobody, you know, it's the hardest thing, but it is the only thing. And it is the best thing is to forgive everybody. So I just ask you just to, you know, just say, Lord, I forgive and whoever it is and just say, help me, Lord, help me to forgive and forgive. And he will help you because that's where you will see healing flow through that in everything. That's where all of your healing flows through. Lord, just touch her even more powerfully today, Father, Lord. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So, okay, a few more sentences and then I'll be done, but I just want to be obedient, okay? Go for it, girl. He that loves... Who, he who loves me not keeps not my sayings, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things into your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave you. Do you hear me? I hear you. Peace. Yes. Peace I leave you. We all need peace. Amen. Only God can give us pure peace. Amen. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Peace that we need. Now let me show you something. We all need peace. See the top of this? Not, not as the world gives, give I I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I have said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, but the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me. That's Satan. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave his commandment, even so do I. Arise, let us go. Hence. Here we go. This is what I'm going to leave y'all with. I am the true vine. Oh, help me, Lord. He's the true vine. He's the cornerstone. He's the rock of yes. salvation. He is the cornerstone. And my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he takes away. 
and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Yes. Abide in me. Who hears this? Amen. Abide in me, and I in you. Yes. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you accept if you abide in him. Okay, now let me show you something. If honey. you abide in just one second, honey. If you abide in him, if you see, he wants us to read the read his word. You see this? I know I trust. You're standing over here, Michael. Abide. Oh wait. Here, I'll talk to you myself. <laughs> abide. Abide means to make your abode in him. To make it to make a home in him. Okay? It, when you're when you invite Jesus into your heart, the Holy Spirit goes in you, oh, and He you, ministers to you. You, you just have a relationship with Him. That, there's no explaining. That's right. When you get baptized, that's right. And funny. I have been. <laughs> yeah, baptized. Now let me show you something real quick. Wait a minute, sweetheart. Just one second. Okay? So, so I'm just going to I'm gonna pray for everybody here right Let's now. Let's go. Here, and I'll go with you. No, stay right there. Just one second. Right now, I'm going to pray for everybody. Please. I'm going to give everybody the opportunity to invite Jesus into your heart. This is what. This is how you get life and life more abundantly. Okay? You just repeat after me. You say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You died on the cross for me. You died on the cross for me. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. And come into my heart. Come into my heart. And give me your Holy Spirit. Give me your Holy Spirit. And help me. To see you clearly. See you clearly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I'm just going to pray right now for every single person. I pray healing. I pray that. You know, he is here. His word goes in and accomplishes will and will not come back void, period. Period. He is the truth, the life, and the way, and there is no other way. So right now, I pray that any addiction right now is gone in the name of Jesus. That right here, that from the soles of your feet to the tip of your head, he makes everything real new. Addiction gone, tobacco gone in the name of Jesus. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. He says, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. I bind up addiction. I bind up depression. I bind up brokenness. Anybody who has a broken heart, I lift burdens off today, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that they live, will live and they will not die. That you will have them dream again. I pray for good people to come into their life, Lord. Yes, I pray for jobs in the name of Jesus, Lord. For IDs. <laughs> yes. And just that wherever they need to go, Lord, that you get them there, Lord. If it means getting them out of Florida, get them out of here in the name of Jesus. That you're going to open a door for them that no man can shut because he has little strength. Lord, that no weapon put against him will ever prosper. I bind up any hindrance. Any workings of the enemy that's trying to come up any person right here. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you're going to rise up inside of them. And they will know that without a shadow of a doubt that you were standing here for them today. And that you love them no matter what. No matter the cost. No matter the loss, he has done it all. It's a finished work. It's already done. And he wants you to have intimate relationship with him. He wants you to talk to him just like I'm talking to you. This is how I talk to him. I go, I kiss his cross, and I say, oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing me, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. You're faithful. I thank him all the time. I praise him. See, when you praise him, see, praise him for the things that you don't have. See, I didn't have a car for two months. You know what I did? I got on that boat tram bus every day, and you know what I said? I said, Lord, thank you for giving me a car paid in full. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Every single day I got on there and went to work. Yep, and guess what he gave me? A car paid in full. Nice too. Ain't never had a nice car, Jesus. See, that's how he works. You gotta say things that are not as if they are. You claim it, right? If you want a job, just say, hey, thank you, Lord, for getting me a good job that pays really well. Thank you, Lord, that I'm laying my head on a nice pillow in a nice, warm, cozy house today. Thank you, Lord, that I have good people that are surrounding me. I know that's right. 
Oh. Yep, you just, uh, so you just thank him. Thank him. You know, and he's, and I tell you, that is the blessings is when you just thank him. Just say thank you. Thank you. Surely we have, surely we have one thing to say thank you to God about. Right? I mean, I know a million things, you know? But anyway, God bless you all. Thanks, Michael.